Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Um, this is Muhammad Ali Njai. Um, I just thought that I made this video um, because we're at a crossroads and everyone is out there attacking each other, um, insulting one another. And it's just so unfortunate that after making history, we're in what, March, almost April. Today is the 30th of March. You would think that after two months of coming into power, we would be seeing more of a dialogue going on, more of policies being shown, um, being out there telling the Gambian people what they have done within these 60 days, you know, or, or even just trying to bring the country together. But this just goes to show weak leadership. That's all I blame it on, weak, le weak leadership. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because a lot of people are out there right now trying to condemn certain actions of certain groups or parties. But guess what? They're afraid that of the consequences if they do not condemn certain acts of barbarism that's going on out there. Because, oh, you did not condemn this. You condemn that, but you do not condemn this. Folks, be who you are. Do not let nobody pressure you into doing something that you're uncomfortable doing. What we see right now is just weak leadership. Totally. That's it. Our inept ability, ability to, to govern. Um, there's just this unity. So my, my reaction right now to making this video is just to tell the Gambian people that power resides with them. Go out there and vote for whoever you want. And as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for somebody to come and tell me, oh, you should be neutral. I've heard that argument before. Neutral my foot. I'm going to go out there and tell the Gambian people to support who they believe is, their, is the best candidate for them. I'm not going to be here, oh, I condemn this, I don't condemn that. I condemn this, I did not condemn that. No. Because you know what? When the ruling party before, when the APRC was in power, I've heard the argument saying, oh, why don't you go, guys go out there? Have you guys seen anything good that this administration has done? So right now, everybody's trying to see what good this administration has done. But blunder upon blunder upon blunder. How are people going to see what good this, this new administration has done? So that's the same kind of feeling. It's not time for politics anymore. It's time to govern. And the people are going to hold you guys accountable for whatever actions you're doing. We wish you well. But you guys need to really step up. Because right now, the country is at a pivotal moment where people are out there attacking each other. And this could bring civil war. Can you imagine no war occurred during December 1st or December 2nd up to now? And now that we've got the change, why should there be civil war? Why are we seeing too much tribal politics? Is this who we really are? Is this what we want for Gambia? And then people are out there trying to say, oh, you, should, you guys shouldn't talk about this. You should talk about that. Because everybody has an interest in everything that they do. You know what? I have seen a lot of ungr ungratefulness. A lot of disloyalty. A lot of... And, and it's embedded in us, Gambians. You know what we have decided, Gambians? We have decided to show the world who we truly are. That's all. And our inability to govern, our lack of understanding of how government works, policies that we should be crafting, we're not doing. We're busy out there going after each other. Where's the leadership? Why haven't you seen the leader step up and say, hey, surrogates, you guys should not be acting in this way. We are all one Gambia. And Gambia, we are all one people. Why are we not seeing more unity? to move the agenda forward of trying to bring about the constitutional changes and amendments that we need to see. Why are we seeing so much bigotry out there? It just shows weak leadership. You guys need to step up. The Barrow administration needs to step up. And you all, they, they, I mean, this is nothing new. This is nothing new. It's very unfortunate and very sad that people are not calling their leaders right now to tell, telling them, hey, don't forget that we're the ones who put you there. And we're the ones who could take you out. 
So we need you guys to come together. If you are not doing it right now for the parliamentary elections, but we just need to see better leadership out there speaking to the Gambian people, telling them, hey, that brother or sister of yours, you're out there trying to punch or hurt. He's part of you. He is the reason why there is Gambia. And we need to stop these acts of barbarism, be it from APRC, be it from UDP, be it from whoever, DOI, PPP, all of it. It just needs to stop. We just need to see Gambia first. I came back way back um, January 19th of 2016, telling you that you guys are not putting the, the, the country first. You're putting party politics before anything. Guess what? You have shown your true colors that you are more interested in the party surviving than the entire nation surviving. You don't care even if this country goes to civil war. Because your goals and ambitions is to sit in that chair to be called Mr. President or Mrs. President, Madam President. Guess what? Only Allah, only God knows who's going to be president tomorrow. And if you guys think, oh, we are the biggest party, so therefore we're going to have it our way. You guys are making a big mistake. We've seen big parties go down. And how did they go down? By other parties coming together. If you guys are not careful, other parties are going to join forces and then bring you guys down. And what else do you base it on? Oh, we are the biggest tribe? If you guys want to say that, go ahead and say it. But guess what? Don't forget that the UDP was formed by other parties joining in, like PPP. Now that you guys have separated, how are you guys going to show people that you guys are the biggest party? Not picking on your party, but... It's just unfortunate. You would hope that this being the biggest party, so-called opposition biggest party, well, maybe now you're not an opposition, you're a ruling party, right? You would be out there calling people towards unity. This is what we need. We need leaders to be out there talking about peace, unity, how to rebuild the nation, how to make this, better, this nation better. Because we are lacking behind. We need to put the Gambian people front and center. We cannot be putting the parties in front. And Gambia, I'm telling you real quick, go out there and vote for whoever you think your candidate is. As for Serekunda, I'm from Serekunda. And I'm telling the Gambian people of Serekunda, go out there and vote for Harif Asala. Now, I'm waiting for you guys to go out there and say, oh, he's a Wolof, or because he's from Serekunda, or maybe because Halifa, for some reason, everybody is sympathetic to him. You know why? Because I hate this honesty. I hate this loyalty. Just because a lot of people couldn't match up to his intellectualism, you guys failed, felt threatened that when he goes to parliament, he'll be able to make arguments for the country way better than probably you guys would. Because when you guys really needed him, he was out there front and center talking to the Gambian people, calming them down, telling them not to protest. And for the reason that we didn't even go to civil war, he, he's probably one, one of the reasons why we didn't. Because he was act, actually out there calming the people down. But today he's the bad one. And so I'm telling the Gambian people, Serakunda, Bulen Chahan, we've seen a leadership in Halifa Salah. We've seen how he maintained peace in that country. I am not a DOI supporter. I am not a member of DOI. But I am telling the people of Serakunda to go out there and vote for Halifa Salah. Because you know what? The way he has been treated lately is just to show the Gambian people that we do not honor our words. We do not honor respect. We do not value anything that says, you know what? When somebody is there for you, during the day, you be there during the night. No. Jamfa Katlin. Or Katlin. No bon. But you know what? God already knows who's going to win or not. But I am endorsing Halifa Sala to be the parliamentarian for Sarakunda. Man, city city, mam se abdobla. Man, yen yan, nyu nyu elek um, kini, Halifa Sala. Because you know what? Not ne sadako yelo. We need people that work. 
So oh, you know this biggest party. Well, a new party. You guys are playing tribal politics. Whenever you guys say that we are the biggest party, you know what you guys base it on? You don't base it on performance. You base it on because of the Mandinka is the biggest tribe. And I said it. Go out there. I see you guys lynching everybody out there. And don't be, don't 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 be uh, shy to to come after me because oh all of a sudden, oh my dad is the chairman of the IEC. Don't forget, he was there before. He became, he was there before, and you guys knew me way back before he even became chairman. I always say things as I see it. You guys are engaged in tribal politics, and you guys must be shameful. I mean, it's very embarrassing. So, Mangana Nyan, Nyendem Nyen Votal Jigeni, Aminata Korea, Tumanjai, Halifa Sala, Usman Shila, all these other people out there that are competent, go out there and vote for them. Because those people will fight for the average Gambian. They have proven to the Gambian people. They do not want any position. They just want to see the Gambian people agenda up front. And that development is taking place. So, man, Mamadou Alunjai, man, 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 and Balma, ah, you know, Allah Musa said that the family jama. We want more unity. Uh, we want more peace, uh, national truth and reconciliation. Lord Lens Allah, we need time limits. Go out there and campaign on time limits. That's what we want. And the three-year mandate that you guys sign on, you guys better honor it because everybody's coming at you, and we will come at you for being dishonorable and lack of credibility. So. May we enjoy peace and may freedom reign in Gambia. Assalamu alaikum.